What's a bigger problem for the Titans? The offensive line or defensive injuries? And Zach, I'll send you to the chat to see what everybody's thinking. Well, I knew the first answer we were going to get was this. Uh, it's just not even a part of the game. game right. Is, is. Yeah. So, Jared, we're, we're going to eliminate that answer. Offensive line from sure from uh, Elks, 70. Uh, offensive line from Timothy. O-line from Noah. Defensive injuries from Steven. Injuries from Jay Wood. So, even in a backup. Defensive injuries from David. Offensive line from Dalen. Offensive line is trash from Joey. The O-line without question from Lala. Offensive line from Michael. Offensive line from Caleb. Offensive line from Karen. Offensive line from Jared after he said Downing. Uh, offensive line, Deborah. Offensive line, Eric. Ronnie says offensive line. Defensive injuries from Grim Jim. Offensive line from Pistol. Offensive line from Jeff. Offensive line from Jason. Gary is going with coaching, which is not the question. Offensive line is everything. So overall, and there's more coming in, we've got defensive injuries from Nick and offensive line from Martin, O-line from Dave and Lewis. Steel goes with wide receivers. I, I think for the chat, their overall answer is offensive line. Yeah. Austin. What is your answer to this question? I am surprised that it's this heavy offensive line. Now, uh, here's a, a R-E-K-T on YouTube says defensive injuries because the defense was winning the Titans games early on, which is true. When the Titans won seven out of eight games, the defense was doing a lot of good things. And the one game they lost in that stretch was taking Patrick Mahomes to overtime in Arrowhead and only allowing, what, 20 points or, or 19 points for the Chiefs offense that game. So my answer is also offensive line, Zach, because I'm watching the Titans defense with Jack Gibbons, Dylan Cole, uh, and Greg Maben playing a lot of snaps on the defensive uh, in the secondary at linebacker. And you see guys like Demarcus Walker and Mario Edwards Jr. Making plays, no tier tart. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys out there on defense that are helping and you're seeing the defensive coaching staff try to help overcome some of those injuries, but the Titans offensive coaching staff can't overcome the inability of the left side of the offensive line. Zach, I already said Dennis Daly has given up 12 sacks this year. Aaron Brewer is credited with only four. So that doesn't seem like a lot. Ryan Tan, the Titans quarterbacks with Ryan Tannehill and Malik Willis this year have been sacked 39 times. So that means Dennis Daly has given up over 30% of the sacks this year on Titans quarterbacks. Aaron Brewer and Dennis Daly are giving up nearly 34% combined on that left side. And, you know, there are times when running backs get credited for sacks because of pass protection, tight ends the same way. I know Chig has given up a couple sacks, but when the left side of your offensive line has given up over one third of the sacks allowed on your quarterbacks, that's a problem. And even when they're chipping with and helping Dennis Daly on the left side, it's not working. They're getting beat. There are there are two plays in the last two games, the loss to the Jags and the loss to the Chargers. The Chargers sack when Tannehill got sacked out of field goal range in the fourth quarter. And uh, when Walker beat uh, Daly on the left side against the Jags, where Dennis Daly had chip help from a tight end, yet couldn't even get his hands on the edge rusher and allowed Tannehill to go down so quickly. And so I think the offensive line is holding this team back because even when they try to help them, it's not working. And then you look over on the right side, Nicholas Petit Frères hit that rookie wall. Nate Davis just got rolled up on from Derrick Henry in that game two against the Chargers, and we don't know what he's going to look like. And Ben Jones has been held together by duct tape the last three years. So the offensive line is this team's biggest problem because it's hurting so many other aspects of this roster. It only took two years to affect that major draft pick and basically getting zero out of him. Like, they didn't get one. They didn't get two. They didn't get a single penny. Zero. They got zero value out of Isaiah Wilson from a first-round pick. Caleb Farley is probably at a, a .3. I wouldn't give him a zero, but he ain't 
worth a damn. Isaiah Wilson is killing where they are now. They also missed on Raidens. The reason why they had to do Raidens is because they had to reach Mm -hmm. because they didn't have Isaiah Wilson. This is the Isaiah Wilson trickle-down effect. And Austin, I I was trying to think of every different thing to kind of like combat and disagree and go with defensive injuries. Okay. But I, I do think it is offensive line. This is an Isaiah Wilson issue. And I know people get triggered when you say the two words, Isaiah Wilson, but this is why they're at the the place that they're at because of that atrocious draft pick. 